Hello everyone, welcome to the new year of 2023. I am going to recap some of the things I have designed and enjoyed designing in 2022. Uh, this is just for you to see how I actually approach a design or what is my taste in design or whatever. Your feedback is welcome. You can comment in the um, comment section below the video or any design you like or if you want to hire me or my services, you can contact me um via the whatsapp number or i am also uh, working on my own firm design agency website which i will be showing you in this um video uh, at the end of this video so let's get started and see what i love designing and why i love designing and what i have designed in the past year okay so i'm going to start with uh, this screen this is actually let's zoom into it so this was actually a um, onboarding experience. I had to design a new uh, flow uh, on make it better for the onboarding experience of the users. So uh, what we designed is we have just two or three questions to start with just to uh, make it more customized to uh, whatever the user is. Uh, next, we are going to ask for the source where would you like to connect so it actually what it, this product actually do is it actually connects with the database of course facebook post or, or google ads and display the data in a nice way uh, or generate a report for that so uh, there is one thing which i actually included is i need help that was a global help button i thought that there would be a chance that users need help at every stage maybe they want to uh, they, they might need help on step one two or three so they can just click over here and uh, a pop-up uh, message will show them what to do next or they can contact the uh, customer service you can see i am also giving the reason why i have used certain things like drop down so there were like 10 different options to select from to connect with so I used a drop down. They had something like radio buttons over here. So 10 radio buttons is not a uh, viable choice from user experience point of view and usability point of view. Uh, next is you can see they have selected this option and then they can um, name it connecting to the data source. And then they can, uh, the last uh, screen was that your uh, report is ready and if they want to start with a report template so for example if they have selected facebook then only the facebook templates will be visible uh, at at the end screen before that they had like tons of templates for google ads and everything displayed on the last screen which was really frustrated frustrating for the user so this was two minutes report. This product is available on AppSumo. I think AppSumo for a long time. Um, the other one I loved using, uh, working on was this um, dashboard for analytics. And this was Plotter. This was a um, United States uh, US firm. And they were trying to plot uh, different stock data stock analysis you can see stock trends so the problem was over here in the navigation so the navigation design was so difficult for the users that uh, there were a lot of functionalities that were missing uh, like you can see over here i can bookmark uh, any trend or any thing i'm viewing so i can easily come to that after uh, so there were like uh, i think um, 30 or 40 there were too many screens i designed you can see over here so they are like one three four five six seven eight um like 30 or 40 screens so you can view them over here so you can see this one so these are different categories so the problem was designing this navigation so this navigation was very difficult than this one so uh, i designed this you can see over here i also upgraded uh, some of its search sections like you can see section and subsection categories inside the search bar 
uh, and then let me show you a few more like this was the global uh, uh, navigation then these were these were the data sources navigation uh, this was the internal navigation inside navigation let me see if I can show you a bit more so there were two layouts I think we designed this one before which was like this and let me show you a complex one so here we have so you can see I, uh, I told them that on your first load on the onboarding of users you have to show them uh, some uh, overlays like dashboard this is dashboard data source and all that stuff and here we have the tables so I think designing the table is the most difficult part designing something like that then they had a lot of um, table field to choose from there are different rows of data like date dividend percentage change so you can just click over here and turn them off so this was my idea from a user experience point of view to make it more simpler by just selecting some of them and they will uh, update this table and then the user can also export data uh, they can switch from table to chart view save save this uh, somewhere and expand this whole uh, thing and you can also filter them so this was a very very complex product and i think uh, the developers were having problems so i actually um, really loved working on this product really really loved so this was the product trail uh, or I would say uh, a navigation trail uh, this was the base then the next one next one and this one was selected right now so you can go back by clicking any category like I would go to employers by clicking over here UCLE and data set so this was I think my most difficult design from a user experience point of view in 2022 then I have designed some of amazing landing pages for this Klartex, you can see over here, uh, we also developed these uh, with the fast loading code. And you can see over here, step one, core values, uh, frequently asked questions, team services, and these are the buttons, clickable buttons to dial. Then I had designed this landing page for Justice Tax. That was another lovely pro uh, project. Uh, the color scheme was purple and golden. I love this color scheme. Uh, so here is the design. The difficult part was this one. This table. And also we had this table in the mobile. Let me show you. Uh, where is the table in the mobile format? Oops. I think I didn't design it. But... Um, we had it with some different options like uh, only this set of the table was shown and there were three options over here to click and it would switch to the next two uh, nice uh, here we have again you can see this typeface I really love this combination serif and sans serif they, they are looking really really professional sleek lovely and then we have some then i also designed some of the banners for text cure i think not some of them but they were like hundreds of them like this so whole file is full uh, the recent project i did in the last week of 2022 was this one alliance text and i think you would love this design too they had a very nice already designed logo so i i think that was one positive point but i had to stay inside their color scheme so this is purplish blue and then you can see over here testimonials um, success stories then we had this text professionals have your backs four steps process our guarantee uh, so this section i had to iterate it many times to, um, to go to this layout and then we have again questions this is the team uh, and this is the website uh, page we are all already working uh, we have already developed this and uh, we are in the finishing stage of this uh, design 
now coming to my website over here so this is what i have been working on what is happening over here this one went pretty close to this anyhow so uh this is my design uh, we are working on this i have worked with intel panasonic mcafee alliance tanks review stacks university of phoenix won eight design competitions i really enjoyed designing this because uh, it is very very different design um, the typeface i am i am using is a premium typeface i have purchased this is portfolio and uh, some of the logo designs this is my old design of a smart sofa app and i i also in love this section services pro design offers um so my url would be pro design dot tech uh, it would be launching soon this is my team right now um i am the designer right now i will be hiring a designer soon uh web developer and video editor editor and social media manager basically here we have the start a project section so this is uh this will sum up all the designs i have loved working on in 2022 uh along with that i am teaching online on udemy so most of my time is reserved over there so i have to teach uh, a lot uh and train a lot of students so i have to look at some of their assignments so if you want to contact me for landing page design or a ux ui design of your own project or you want a consultation you can always contact me uh via this um whatsapp number or you can also go to my website info@prodesign.tech or prodesign.tech and you can contact me from there uh i would leave my whatsapp number over here for now you can uh contact me if you want to learn about design you want some design consultancy or ui ux design i will meet you in another video till then take care bye bye happy new year and welcome to 2023